Now we'll look at the Google Pipelines or Genomics API. You can see in this graphic from Google, the concept that they have around this is to abstract away the compute cluster by providing configuration through a Genomics API that's specialized. You'll see it called both Pipelines or Genomics or Genomic Pipelines in the documentation. It's interesting to see that in the analysis process after Genomics API, they show BigQuery. So if you were just using these three components, you'd have a purely serverless process using cloud storage, Google Genomics, and Google BigQuery. It's really interesting to see that, of course, under the hood on Google Genomics, Compute Engine instances are running. And um, in addition to Google Genomics, Google itself has a number of open source libraries that they have examples for that we'll be looking at in this course, such as Deep Variant and Variant Transforms that provide uh, types of processing that are common to bioinformatics workloads. There are a number of bioinformatics research groups, notably the Broad Institute, that have built uh, libraries and engines to run on top of Pipeline's API. So you can see in this section, we're just going to look at these components here, but in subsequent uh, screencasts, we'll look at the different engines that you can use, such as Cromwell from the Broad or Nextflow from a group out in Barcelona and another utility, um, DSUB. So typically in highly scaled uh, GCP hosted um, analyses, you're going to use Pipeline's API, which controls the underlying VMs, and then another layer on top of that. And the reason for that is scaling out VMs is super complex. And these layers are going to simplify the configuration and um, take advantage of some of the capabilities of Google's services, such as preemptible virtual machines, so that you don't have to configure that yourself. But again, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Let's look at Pipelines and Genomics API and how that works first. So um, there's a quick start that I'm just going to run through. And what this does is it uses Pipeline's API to create an index file, a BAI file, from a large binary file that contains DNA sequences, a BAM file. So you'll see in the quick start, you have to enable billing in your account, and you have to enable the Cloud Genomics Compute Engine and Cloud Storage JSON APIs, which I've already done. In order to run the pipeline, you can either use uh, GSTTL in other words, the integrated shell or PowerShell if you're using Windows. So I'm just going to copy this first command and, and setting the value of the bucket variable that we're going to be working with. And then I'm going to open a Cloud Shell. And then using GSUtil, I'm going to create a bucket with the name that I assigned. Now I'm going to use the gcloud command uh, it's an alpha, as of this recording, genomics pipelines run, and I'm going to run this in US East 1. The command line is we're going to use SAM tools, index for the BAM and the BAI file. We're going to use a Docker image that is in the Google Container Registry. It's from the genomics tools, it's SAM tools. The inputs is a BAM file, and it is located in a public bucket, and the output will be the BAI file. So I'm going to copy this. Paste it in to start the job. And then it's going to give me an operation number. I'm going to copy that. And as it says here, the pipeline will take a few minutes to finish. So I can monitor the status by using the gcloud alpha genomics operations wait command and passing in the particular ID that we have. And you can see that the operation is in uh, progress right now. And now you can see the operation is completed. So if we just list the information for this bucket, we can see that we have our BAI file.